Hey there everybody, it's Shadow Sonic. Here to bring you part two of my Crash Bandicoot 1 Let's Play. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of a little late for this. Um, anyway. You may have noticed that the last part and this part have these gigantic black bars on the sides of the screen. Yeah, I just tried fixing that and for some reason, not working. So, I don't know why that happened, why that's happening now and it didn't happen for Spyro. Maybe it has to do with this, the fact that this particular game is a lot older than Spyro was, but anyway. Yeah, Papu Papu's not much of a threat. <laughs> Basically just gotta jump on him when he stops flashing. If you try jumping on him while he's still flashing, then you're gonna get hurt. Anyway, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's head over to Rolling Stones. And see whether we can clear this level 100% first try or not. Because I honestly don't remember. Well, there's a ton of icon. What have we got? Hmm. Actually, if I'm remembering this level correctly, then I don't think it is one that we can... Ooh, yep. I'm pretty sure that means we can't do it this first time. You see, that was an embryo token. There are only two levels with Embryo Tokens in the game. And they are rather useless, actually. You see, of the three types of tokens in the game, only one of them saves, only one of them gives any benefit apart from saving, and the Embryo one is not it. Well, there's the second token. And I was right about where those were. Not right about being safe from that hit. But still, so far so good. Let's jump on that moving platform. Because it's moving, it's not going to fall. Another ton of icon. Nice, nice. Okay, come on. There we go. Um. Yeah, an interesting comment that was left on the last video. Ah, darn it. Accidentally destroyed that jump box, so it's going to be a little harder to reach that bouncy box. But still possible, as I just showed you. What have we got? All right. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, last video somebody mentioned that I could hold the X button down to keep in the air longer, which I already knew about and is true, but doesn't tend to help against that sort of bridge thing that I mentioned. You see, while I'm holding the X button down, and it's going just fine right now. When trying to go forward, it tends to screw everything up. I don't know why. Come on, in there! No, stay in there! Thank you! And there we go, another pointless save that I don't need, but will take anyway. Yes, I want to overwrite that slot. Okay. So... We're still over here. Oh boy. Yeah, you see right behind that pillar is a blue gem icon thing? I'd point to it, but of course you guys can't see what I'm pointing to. Um, yeah. There, there are another three boxes down there, which means I can't clear this level on the first try. That's why I remembered 
the not being able to clear it when I saw the embryo tokens. There are only two levels in the game that have those, so remembering which one is which made sense. Speaking of embryo tokens, there's the last one. So now I'm going to attempt this type of bonus round. The only reward will be lives. I'm holding the X button here because there it does help. And going back this way because I don't care about those Wumpa fruit. And now for those three boxes. Excellent. And as you can see, I got absolutely nothing apart from extra lives from that. Heck, you don't even need to get all the nitrous... Uh, the nitrous brio things for 100%. Oh, I was wrong. It was six boxes down there, not three. Eh, whatever. One is as much as 7,000 when it comes to getting gems. Uh, one box missed is the same as 7,000 when it comes to getting gems. And oh boy. This level is hog wild. And if you've seen later Crash games, you'll know that they like to have Crash riding an animal. This basically works the same way. Except it's not quite as polished. Which generally doesn't mean anything unless you're going for the gems. Which I am. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can see that I'm not having that good of a motion here. Basically all I can say is jump on the barrels, try to go where the... where the tiki... Wait a minute. Darn it, I missed boxes. That's why I killed myself before remembering... That's not how this game works! because now I'm going to have to just exit the level and retry. I know I can do this! It's not like it's that hard, especially considering some of the late game stuff. But I am sure this is not going to become another wing challenge. <laughs> Please, dear god, do not let this become another wing challenge. Not that I don't ex not that I have any expectancy of that even being a possibility. There we go. And back up here. Now, the big problem will be There we go. Got all the boxes that time. Jump over this, get that, run under this one, and jump over again. Excellent. You thought you could trick me, didn't you, Villager? But I was aiming where you were so you would move to where I wasn't. Anyway, there we go. Third gem of the game. Which means I have, yet again, another save opportunity. Which I will take, just in case. And now for the native fortress. Like the Great Wall, this is... one of those mostly vertical levels. And also like the Great Wall, it requires a color gem to complete. So... What have we got? Yeah, I'm not trying for 100% yet on this level. Because it's simply not possible. But this level is a good deal more difficult than Great Wall. So... Keep that in mind. Excellent, another Tana token. And... 
Come on. Excellent. Perfect. Now to just get past these guys. Good. Spinning just to make sure I hit. Get out of the way, monkey. Excellent. Didn't think I was going to get that life, but I did. And bye-bye, plants. Okay. Excellent. I got a little greedy there, wanting to go for a combo. And a little greedy there, too. Oh well. Again, not like I'm going for 100% this time. Because it's not possible yet. And I'm gonna hit... Dead box. Quickly hit that. Jump at the last minute so that it... Blasts outside of my range. And if I remember correctly, this should be the last Tana box. Yes, I am correct. Alright. Now, what's up here? A life. Just off screen. Now, one thing I should probably clarify these boxes in the bonus rounds, they aren't. They don't go toward 100% at all. You could potentially flub up every single bonus round in the entire game, and it wouldn't matter. Alright. Oh, um, guys, some interesting news I should mention. I managed to pick up a kind of rare game off of eBay very recently. I'm not telling you what it is, because I've got a little surprise in store concerning it, but I'm pretty sure you're going to like it, considering the general reaction I got from where I heard it about the game. I won't say anything more, because for all I know, I may not be able to pull off what I'm trying to do. But it'll be interesting. Oh, by the way, you'll notice that right behind this turtle there is what looks like a chopped off spike? Into the background with me! <laughs> I can just bypass all of this. And since there were no boxes, I don't have to... Ow. I wouldn't have to go through that. But, because I'm trying to go for... I'm, because I'm not trying to go for 100%, that kind of feels like cheating to me. Kind of. So... I think I'm going to just pretend I didn't know about that shortcut. Alright. Jumping over here. Excellent. Excellent. Bouncy, bouncy, hit. Bounce. There we go. Just waiting for the right time when both that is not a flame and the spike thingies are within the perfect position. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Oh, and uh, right past that flame thing, you can see a red gem indicator. Yeah, we're going to need to come back here with a red gem. Okay, keep going. Excellent. Not holding the X button here, just... Okay. I take back what I was going to say. You cannot just simply hold the left directional button and have that work. Thought you could, I was wrong, end of story.
Alright. Oh, I can go back here. Nice. But kind of leaves me in an awkward... How did I get hit there? That shouldn't have been within the... Whatever. Not gonna complain, not gonna complain. This was an older game. It's allowed to make mistakes like that. Because I really should not have been hit there. Okay. Bouncy, 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 safe. Now, to go up this tower. Good, good. Four lives, right for, th right for the taking. And let me just destroy these boxes, because I can. Excellent. Now I just get into the portal, and I don't get bopped on the head because I died a couple times. But whatever. It's not like I'm going to make that mistake when it counts. Ah, now to another level. Up the creek. Now, I don't think that there is any color gym requirement this time. I might be wrong, though. <sighs> nice little xylophone tune going on here. Of course, you're probably familiar with it already, since we already did a level that was on a river setting. And basically has just the same rules as that one did. Excellent. And I died. Great. Now I've got to restart the level, because this is one that I can get 100% on the first try. Alright, take two. This fish shouldn't be a problem. And we can just run up this log. Excellent. Still safe. Not gonna run into the water like an idiot like last time. And I'm gonna get this life. Excellent. Now I just hop across. And onto the leaf. Perfect. Okay, now we've got an interesting scenario. We have one plant that won't close until I land on it, and another that'll close at odd intervals. So I just jump at the right time, and no problem. Alright. Now we get up to the run of the lily pads. And now I have to be careful. Of course I land in the water. Of course! Ah. That's the one tricky part of this entire level, and I fail on it. Whatever. Shouldn't take me long to get back. Even if I was the type of... Even if I did have an editing program that allowed me to easily make cuts, I probably wouldn't even bother, because it's that short. Uh, 
Okay. So I can make it back here. Good. Okay, come on. You're gonna stop in the center. I'm gonna whack you open. Excellent. Jump across the gap. And then the run of the lily pads. Now, can I make this? Yes, I can. And now, the lily pads are back, so... Run of the lily pads reversed. Now, you see those boxes there when they weren't there before. And also lily pads. Well... A life I could have avoided. And I'm going to use this thing to jump back here. The TNT blows up the bouncy block, and that's the most... The two most troubling crates in the entire level. The rest of this should be a breeze. I thought there was a fish here. I guess I was wrong. Alright. Good. And if I'm correct, this should be the last of the ton of boxes for this level. Yes, it is. Uh, one word of warning that I forgot to mention last time. You can spin these ton icons into oblivion. So, try not to do that. Alright. Careful, catching it a little at a time, making sure it's not too little. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Another ton of round completed. Excellent. Okay, time to resume going up the creek. Good. Now we've got three things to time here. The fish, the plant, and... the leaf boat. Oh, I almost... jumped too early there. Excellent. And, just as I thought, there is nothing here that requires a colored gem. So those restarts were not pointless. <laughs> now give me my fourth gem. Thank you very much, Crash. Now, let's see. I still have some time, so I think what I'm going to do is complete one more normal level and this boss. So, here we go, Ripperoo. Yeah, you're a crazy dog in a straitjacket. Now, he'll keep jumping in those squares, so as long as I don't stand near them, I shouldn't be... that shouldn't be a problem. Now he's just gonna hop in a pattern around all of those four squares, I guess. As far as I didn't get hit there. Now I think he's gonna try going everywhere.
Okay. Just gonna stand in the center. He's not gonna hit me. There we go! No more Ripperoo! That was easy? Though, if I remember correctly, he is the last boss that can be considered easy in this game. Not saying that the other ones are brutal or anything, just... You know, not nearly as difficult. And now you notice those boxes over there. Oh no, how am I supposed to get them? This is a side-scroller, I can't just go into the 3D plane and go around it. Wrong! That's exactly what you can do. <laughs> nice little trick. Pretty sneaky for this game, too. Alright. Now, something about these ruins levels, they are a good deal trickier than normal. Like, say, if I got pushed by that thing, I think it would be instant death, even if I have an Aku Aku mask. I don't remember, though, and I'm not willing to test out my theory. I'm gonna just destroy this bat, which is part one of getting rid of those ones. And just got a Tana symbol. Excellent. Now, even if my memory fails me, and this level does require a, uh... Bonus, I mean, color gem, that should still be good. Also, attentive people may have noticed an exclamation point flying out of the head of that... of this statue thing when I was jumping on there. That's because I held the X down, allowing me to hit an otherwise unseeable... uh... switch crate. Actually... Beginning to think it was. Darn it. For some reason, I thought the crate that I was. that it triggered was behind me, which. would have meant I had to go back, but now I'm thinking that it actually wasn't behind me. Ah! Whatever, it's not like it put me too far back. Though these ruin levels are kind of long. I should say that. I, in fact, I think I did say that just a few moments ago. Eh, whatever. Bears repeating. And there's the Tana symbol again. Good, good, good. You pull the X on this thing to trigger the switch crate, which is kind of hard to hear me doing so or seeing, but trust me, there is was a switch crate that I triggered there. And those Wumpa fruit are there because the bats that were summoned got destroyed when I destroyed that other bat. Now, just so I'm sure, I'm gonna go back. Yep, there wasn't... that switch crate didn't make crates appear back there. Dang it! Ah well. It's not like I was really pressured for time or anything. Okay. Ah! Here's where the second Nitrous Brio opportunity is. Gotta get on here and hold the jump button. Also, go a little forward if you want that life. Excellent. Make sure not to get pushed off by these things. Get that life just by standing on here. Excellent. Excellent. 
just gonna jump here in case. No, there wasn't anything. Didn't think there was going to be. Ah! That little blunder cost me. <laughs> Rushed a bit. Ah, now that lizard. You see it's not moving? Well, watch what happens when I get near it. It's gonna want to jump back and forth. Yeah, you just gotta time it right and then jump off them to get the second Nitrous Brio thing. As long as you go at a steady rhythm here, you should be fine for these platforms. Now just wait for this to come back around. Good. Hit the checkpoint crate. Excellent. Now that's Witch Crate. A little trickier to get to, but still not a problem. Oh, by the way, the first Switch Crate, I believe what that did was merely create the crates that was underneath the Nitrous Brio icon, the first one, so, yeah. Alright, now we have something interesting. It's gonna start hopping, I'm gonna hop some more, and it'll start turning around. Uh, apparently not. Okay. Good thing I could still jump on it without getting hit. <laughs> and I'm just gonna follow these. Ah, didn't mean to get the third. Ah, whatever. The switch should still be active. Now, holding jump here. Excellent. That was a close one. I had to spin at the top of my jump. Now, for this next section, don't care about the crates, just rush. And there we go, the second of the Nitrous Brio sections, and now I just remembered that there was actually a third one later on in the game. Darn it, I hate proving myself wrong like that. Anyway. Good, that lizard still isn't here. Now this thing acts like a seesaw. I like to just jump and get to the center thing, and jump and immediately jump again. Jump here, immediately jump back, wait for him to get on solid ground so that I don't have as much reservations about jumping onto him. All's fine and good. Alright. Now, just waiting for the perfect timing between the bats and those platforms there, which should be now. Just because I can, die bat. Now waiting for the perfect synchronization of these. Probably best when they both go in together. Like this. Same for this one. Waiting until they all go in together. There we go. These will not go in together, so just go like that. <sighs> Darn it, hair. <sighs> in my mouth, it's distracting. Now, jump into here. Now, here we have an interesting lizard. Interesting in the fact that if I had killed that at the wrong time, all my previous efforts for getting 100% would have been for naught. Now you, die back. You lizard, die. Whoa! Almost fell off the ledge there! That would have been bad. Very bad. A little more on edge than I expected to be this time. <sighs> but thankfully I don't have to worry during this Tana round. Bridge, 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 bridge. Not caring too much about these. Excellent. I probably could have gotten a lot more Wumpa out of that, but I want to make a save point just in case. So... 
Yeah, more concerned about saving than I am about getting Wumpa. All right, now another one of these seesaws. Jump, hit the end, jump, hit the center. Jump, hit the end, jump, be safe. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, and that lizard will move out of the way. Now that other lizard there, I believe he is going to be a nuisance. Just need to hit the switch. Excellent! Those two did count as crates despite automatically destroying themselves. So if I had missed that, it would have messed everything up. But because I didn't, I am golden for this level. And if I remember correctly... Yes! The green gem is mine! Now, I'm not going to go back and do that previous level that required the green gem, because I just want to get all the gems I can on my first run-through before go backtracking for the other ones. You know, put a little distance between the normal end and the 100% end. But, yeah, it's nice to get the one of the colored gems out of the way. Anywho, that's it for this episode. Anthony, can you take us out, please? It's Waluigi! How many times do I have to tell you that? <sighs> anyway, if you liked the video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and favorite using the comments below. Comments below? No, I meant the buttons below. So that I can become super popular! Ahem. <clears throat> eh. Uh, and him too. Thank you. Also, be sure to tell me what you want to see for the next Let's Play, and I'll be sure to give that special consideration. Until next time, where we start getting into the more difficult parts of the game, as you probably could have told by the last level, this is Shadow Sonic, signing out.